Hey there everybody, it's the Michal Universe, hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences. And today we're gonna do the Russian lesson about the vocabulary in music theory. It will be for advanced or almost advanced people who are learning Russian language. Because I know that some people wants, want to move to Russia from my channel and maybe if you are new then uh, you are welcome, hello. And uh, today we're gonna learn through the book of... Uh, the man, Ive Spasobin, it means the Igor Vladimirovich Spasobin, it is the Russian music, music theorist, music learner, he is a good person and he created the good books about music theory. I highly recommend it and even people from academies, from conservatories, from music technicums, they listen to his, uh, to his uh, words. Uh, retold by retold by the teachers okay and uh, it is the main like opus magnum <laughs> if we can call it uh, in, in russian pedagogy of music theory and we will read this book with you together one moment it will be here yes and uh, we will read and translate who am I? I am a Russian man who learns music theory too, and I am good. I am good at music theory in understanding it, and I will translate it to you. Also, I have PhD. Almost, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> I said it. No, I almost have master's degree in philology, Russian philology. It means that I know what words mean, and I will try to translate to you it better, and you will understand it. I hope that nicely, okay? First of all, what is written here? Elementarna teoria muziki. It means elementary theory of music. Amazing, we understand it. It is Moskva, Kifara. Kifara means the public place uh, where it was uh, created. Like you maybe scholastic have in your country or maybe US born uh, or something else. It is the name of uh, publishments, uh, the industry that printed this book. Okay, here is the age and also Videnie, introduction, if we will translate it, we can read it or we cannot. Let's try to start it. Для того, чтобы правильно читать и писать, нужно знать слова, их смысл и грамматику, то есть законы языка. Для того, чтобы уметь правильно сочинять музыку, играть ее и петь, нужно знать теорию музыки. Let's translate it. For the purpose to read and write, need to know words and their meaning and grammar. And uh, it means, it is то есть, те е, it is the abbreviation, законы языка, means laws of language. Для того, чтобы уметь правильно сочинять музыку, for the purpose of creating music, composing music, or right composing, here is правильно сочинять, means the right, correct uh, music, the uh, play this and also sing it, then need to know the music theory. Поэтому обучение теории музыки в первую очередь имеет целью подготовку к сочинению или исполнению музыкальных произведений. Let's translate it. That's why the learning of theory of music in the first case needs a purpose of preparation for create. Let's let's translate it again. That's it will be maybe harder. <laughs> Поэтому, that it means learning of theory music, yes, обучение теории музыки, в первую очередь, in the first place, имеет целью подготовку к сочинению или исполнению музыкальных произведений. Here is the interesting thing, имеет целью подготовку. It means that it is kind of passive voice in Russian. I don't know how to translate it to you in uh, Russian meanings. It means the kind of uh, passive voice. It is the same. Y если ты хочешь сочинять или исполнять музыку, then you need to learn uh, th the music theory. It is uh, the same. If you want to compose or perform music, then you need to know music theory. Sorry, I first time do translating and uh, maybe something will be <laughs> not fully correct, but I hope that you understand right now. It is the same, the same meaning, 
of this sentence as previous was. It is that's why to learn, <laughs> that's why you should learn theory of music. It is the short meaning of this sentence. Really, fully, really, in, in Russian. Вследствие того, it means, therefore, что музыка состоит из очень многих и разнообразных элементов. Теория музыки подразделяется на несколько частей, дисциплин. Элементарную часть, гармонию, полифонию, инструментовку, учение о музыкальных формах. And let's translate it partly. Therefore, and we can translate it even not therefore, but because of, вследствие того. Вследствие того, it means therefore, and sometimes it means kind of because. Because of that music contains many parts and many different elements. Theory of music has different parts. Disciplines in this breaks we have like rounded breaks and here is what elementary theory the theory elementary theory like easy okay and harmonia harmony polyphony polyphony instrumentovko the theory of musical instruments it means. Uh, kind of for music acoustics, for how our instruments created. It is instrumentology, instrumentology, we can call it, instrumentovko. Uchenia musicalnych formach, formach, means the study of musical forms. For example, it will be different types of acoustics again, different types of waves, and different types of, uh, for example, it will be one it will be the whole note, then half of a note, then it will be a fourth part of the note, and uh, sequences of it. Four fourth half, four fourth half, it is one of the kind of portrait of form of music. But another form will be whole whole half, whole whole half, whole whole half, this type of <laughs> maybe music, okay? Different types of notes. And here is elementarna teoria elementarna teoria predstavlyat saboy saboyu te elementarna teoria predstavlyat saboy rod pervanachalny muzikalny gramatiki katorya dozhna sapchit uchashimsya systematichiski svedny ariadi vajnishich elementov muziki. What does it mean? Element the elementary theory contains shows presents, представляет, it means presents, presents for themselves, like it, it is, we can translate, представляет собой, like it is, elementary theory is, представляет собой, is, is, it is the specific rot, rot in this uh, meaning, it is the type, it is the type of the main musical grammar, let's translate it again, Music elementary theory, it is the main, primarily, the first, we can translate первоначальный, it is the first stance that firstly, primarily, prima donna here, and uh, of musical grammar. That's, that should, сообщить means reply, introduce, show, tell, and uh, other words, like uh, to, to tell you an information. This, this field should show to the students systematic features. Systematic features, it means systematically Sweden, about the row, row as a sequence. Sequence, different things, like uh, rows of Fourier in, in math, of the most important, важнейших, most important elements in music. Okay? Next. Как и вся теория музыки, элементарная теория основана на законах, сложившихся в народной классической музыке. As a whole theory of music, elementary theory made on... Made on, it means has a base on, 
something has a base on the laws look at this it is zakone that we are made during the period of time previously when it was the folk music narodne and classic классическая музыка look at this again сложившихся в народной и классической музыке сложившихся it is the word of when we складываем складывать что-то it means when we count it when we add it is the you know mathematics when we сложение when we do сложение it means adding one plus one is two two plus two is four and it is сложившихся it means that during the period of time it was сложение this process it was counting and adding together containing gathering we can translate it differently it is the synonyms and here's в данный курс элементарной теории входит большинство сведений по музыкальной орфографии let's translate it in this particular в данный данный it means uh, in this uh, this determined here this yes yeah? okay in this uh, Particular elementary theory course we have входит большинство сведений по музыкальной орфографии. К this course contains many majority majority of features about musical orthography. I don't know. Do you have this word? One moment. Orthography. Spelling. Orthography. Let's hear it. Orthography. Orthography. About musical orthography. Эти сведения изложены по мере надобности в разных частях курса, применительно к отдельным элементам музыки. Let's translate it partly and then fully. Эти сведения изложены. It means these features were set. These features were told. I'm no no. no. It is. It means that these features were kind of изложены briefly or non-briefly sometimes изложены means that we were saying it and we were introducing it it means telling telling information изложены means that you in mostly cases in most cases in Russian language we mean when излагать means that it was you heard it already somewhere and you want to tell it Like experience, sharing experience. Yes, it will be the best, the best meaning of it. Изложено means the sharing experience in something. And these features were shared on these pages, okay? And uh, pages, we don't have this word. Uh, pages, it is a uh, stranica in uh, Russian language. And uh, here's, let's con uh, continue. По мере надобности в разных частях курса применительно к отдельным элементам музыки. Hard, really hard to understand. It is uh, something scientific stuff written. And here is. По мере надобности в разных частях курса. По мере надобности means that... Need to translate it, by the way. It means that when you have a purpose to learn it, like it is... You need something. For a request, you have a request, and I give you for your re request. Like, you need it, you will get it. But if you don't need it, you will not get it. По мере надобности. Let's translate it in, in this uh, case. По мере надобности. It means as needed. Yes, as needed. Ex exactly. I, I thought that it will be harder to understand. I, I, don't, I didn't know how to translate it in English, but right now you know that... Uh, Is needed. It means that uh, if you need, okay. If you don't need, okay too. And по мере надобности as needed in different parts of the course. And it is useful for different elements of music. It means that in different parts of the course you can find different information about specific elements of music. Отдельный means specific or maybe 
the uh, not opposite not opposite in a meaning contrast opposite in a meaning like separated in separated yes it will be the best word to describe it separated parts okay now we know the introduction written good amazing let's read uh, let's uh, drink a water you can uh, take your uh, cup of uh, water too or a cup of tea Let's continue. We'll read uh, today till the moment of number second, okay? What is datilstvo? Means from the public place when this book was written. Настоящее издание осуществляется по многочисленным просьбам преподавателей и учащихся музыкальных школ и училищ. It means настоящее издание. This publication. Осуществляется по многочисленным просьбам. It means that this publication is made by requests of different teachers and students in musical schools and schools. Школ и училищ, it means almost the same, but школы, mostly it is schools in Russian. And училище, it is like college, but it is... Not a college. <laughs> it is kind of another name of the college. We have школа, лицей, училище, колледж, университет, институт, академия, консерватория. <laughs> it is different types of schools and училище, it means uh, almost like a school, really. People in Russia don't super pay attention to what you say, but училище sometimes means... A bit strict at rules. You understand? In school, mostly, we don't have strict rules. But in училище, we think that it is a bit of strict at rules we have. Okay? Harder. But not super hard. It means that maybe plus 2%. And uh, this 2% is not super big. Okay? В основу переиздания положено прижизненное издание 1951 года с незначительными редакционными правками, которые были осуществлены в последующих публикациях учебника. It means, in the contains, in the basis of contains of переиздания, переиздание means that they published and republishing. Переиздание, it means uh, they republished this a lot of times. Положено прижизненное издание. It means that in the basis of the republishing version was, I mean that, let's translate it from the end. We had прижизненное издание 1951 года. It means we had the, during the life of the Igor Vladimirovich, Sposobin, it is his name, during the life Igor Vladimir Spasobin, прижизненное издание, it means that he published it during his period of time, during his life. And in the, in the basis, in the basis of this прижизненное издание, it was, how to translate it, the, the basis of republication is the publication of the of the version during the time of Igor Vladimirovich Spasobin. Do you understand it? It means again, положено. What does it mean? It means that it is kind of the basis. Основа means basis. And uh, what is the basis? Положено means that... Uh, it means different things in, in Russian language. Положено means on the table. And also положено as a basis. It is the main thing. Okay? And uh, in the basis of republication is... <laughs> I don't know how to translate it, guys. Uh, let's let's try to, to make different uh, translation. Uh, I don't know how to translate it in English. Fully. В основу переиздания положено. It means that in a basis we have... In a basis of republication we have... It will be the correct one. I think so. 
in the basis of republication, we have the during lifetime publication of 1951 year. Yes, it will be the, uh, the great translation. Yes, nice. And uh, with a little bit of proofreading edits. Поправка means... Поправками means поправка. Поправка, it means uh, editing. Редакционными. It means editing too, but редакционные means... Look, редакционными. Редакционные means uh, from the proofreading. Pro from the proofreader. It was made by, by a proofreader. Because in Russian language, redactor is a person who is who is an editor. Okay? And with незначительными, with small. Незначительными means not super important. Because important importante in in Spanish it means super значительные значительные okay but незначительные means not super important with not super important reduction edits proofreads do you have redacte how to translate it edition editorial office wording reduction oh you have it release formulation amendment okay and которые были осуществлены в последующих публикациях учебника. And this editings from 1951, after the death of Igor Vladimirovich, they were made after, in the next editions of the publication of this student book. Let's translate words. Которые means <laughs> that, <laughs> this. And uh, it is uh, the preposition like when, where, and something like this. This things that were made, осуществлены means that it is the way of jurisdiction. <laughs> how to say it? Осуществлены means uh, we are made. But it is the vocabulary of jurisdiction. In jurisdiction field, you can find a lot of осуществлены. It is kind of super mega formal way to say made. We are made. We are created. We are proposed. We are set. Like, it was made. Yes, amazing. Let's translate it. Осуществлены. Realized. Implemented. Yes. Implemented. Uh, really hard uh, words. Do you use it in English? Nope. В последующих публикациях учебника. In the next publications of the student book. Последующих means next. Like, in the next publications of the student book. Student book is учебник. Okay? Next. Звук и его высота. Amazing. We are here. One moment. Because sometimes need to drink water. <laughs> and my throat wants to do this. Next, звук, sound, звук, его высота. It is звук and his pitch. Высота means the higherness, pitch. Глава 1, chapter 1. Звук, как физическое явление, представляет собой колебательное движение какого-нибудь тела, источника звука, струны, воздушного столба в духовом инструменте, пластинки, мембраны и так далее создающего в воздухе периодические сгущения и разрежения, то есть звуковые волны. Let's translate it. Звук. Sound. Sound as the physical phenomenal. It is. Представляет собой. It means it is. The колебательные. Колебательные means kind of oscillography. Vibrations. Vibrations. Vibrations, movements, motions, actions of some objects. Тело. Тело means body, but here it is an object. Какого-нибудь. It doesn't mean what's the... It is non-determination. It is uh, какого-нибудь. Some. Some somebody, some, some objects. And what's the object? It is the источник звука. It is the creator of the sound. 
how to say it, источник, let's translate it, Isto source, S source, yes, yes, a source, S spring, spring, origin, fountain, font, root, well, mind, seed, it means that the main creator of the sound, and who are they, струны, means the strings, like, on a, on a viola, maybe you can find them, on a guitar, mandolin, mandolin, yes, mandolin, mandolin, yes, exactly, 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 Manda on mandolina, you can find it, воздушного столба в духовом инструменте, what the hell is it, воздушный столб means the tube, it is kind of the hardest way to say, it is, no, not hardest, it is the scientific way to say tube, S tube, воздушный <laughs> столб, it means air, air tube, or maybe столб in the meaning of our life means like a pole, let's translate it by the way, I don't know what's the name of it in English, column, pillar, pillar, yes, pillar, column, post, pole, stake, pile, shaft, pier, столб in the meaning it is like you going and you can't find a sign on it, on the, on the, how to say it, on the street, в духовом инструменте, духовой means the flute and uh, wind, wind instruments, пластинки means vinyl, yes, vinyl, let's translate it, пластинки, what, records, lamella, wax, hmm, plate, Records. records. I think that yes, records. It is the виниловые пластинки. Let's translate виниловые. Vinyl records. Vinyl records. Ah, vinyl. Vinyl records. Пластинки. Sometimes also we can say it as a membrane. But here's membrane. Пластинки. It means again vinyl. Vinyl records. Мембраны и так далее. Мембрана means Membrane. It means the like on a drum, on a drum snare, or on a snare, or maybe on a tom. Let's translate it. Do we have it? Membrane. Membrane. Yes. Diaphragm. Capsule. Membrane. Membrane. Okay. Membrane. Like a brain. Pink and brain. Создающего в воздухе периодически сгущение и разрежение, то есть звуковые волны. Jesus Christ, you maybe don't understand what the hell is it. Создающего в воздухе периодические сгущения и разрежения. Сгущение. What is it? It is when concentration is getting bigger. Like, look at this. Making. It is uh, the... It is сгущение. It is... Uh, I don't know how to translate it, really. I don't know vocabulary of it. And разрежение means when it is... To different parts, differentiations, integrations or aggregations, and differentiation to another particles. Gathering in easy vocabulary. Gathering and <laughs> ungathering. And let's translate it. Сгущение. Сгущение we have also, it is the biggest. Сгущение. Uh, thickening. Cons condensation. Concentration. Compression, compression, I think that it is compression. I think that it is compression. Compression and разрежение. Discharge. Discharge. Under pressure. Rarefaction. De depression. Exo exhaustion. Разрежение. Going to the sides. То есть звуковые волны. It means the waves. Music waves, sound waves. One moment, you can skip 30 seconds, I need a little bit of water, okay? I will go to the water, because it will be more productive for you. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, guys. I need a little bit of water. Because with water we can do more productive. My throat is not soaring. Okay, we translated that it is the meaning of the sound. What is the, what the hell is it? It is sound is a physical phenomenon that shows us the 
of acceleration movements of some objects. Objects. And what's the object? It is the source of the sound. And it is strings, tubes in wind instruments. It is record, vinyl record, membrane and etc. Так далее. ТД. Создающего в воздухе периодические сгущения и разрешения. То есть звуковые волны. That creates in air, in the air, periodic, periodic, gathering and ungathering. Or maybe it will be under pressure and compression. Yes, compression and under pressure. Yes, 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 A compression under pressure. I think that yes, 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 yes. Because it is pressure, compression, com, connecting. It is the Greek, I think, preposition. And uh, I mean that prefix. And uh, under, it means going away. Maybe, 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 maybe. Under, I'm not sure, but about compression, yes. Yes. We translate it. And то uh, есть, it means the звуковые волны. It means sound waves. Действие звуковых волн на органы слуха порождает ощущение звука. The doings, the action. The... the Действие means action, movement, or maybe some, like, action, yes, of sound waves on our organs of listening to ears creates, порождает, means it revoke, evoke, or maybe it is, yes, evoke, evoke emotions of the sound. Ощущение means emotion, звук, it is sound, порождает, Evoke. Or maybe it is born. Because we have rosh. Rождает. It, is, it means that born. It is like borning. When you are bor born. Рождать. One moment. Рождать. Be born. Budget. Bear. Mm -hmm. Be born. Okay. Источник звука. Звуковые волны. Существуют объективно. То есть, вне воспринимающего человеческого сознания. Но ощущение звука зависит от органа слуха, слухового нерва, головного мозга и так далее. То есть, от определенным образом организованной материи. Interesting. Really. <laughs> Существует объективно. Существуют. Mm -hmm. Источник звука. Source of the sound. Sound waves. They exist. Objectively, it means, то есть, вне воспринимающего человеческого сознания. It means that they exist even without us. Look, we are here, people, and here is they are. They are like living, living people. I imagine that it is an object. It is object. I am object as a man. It is An object too. It is sound waves and source of uh, the sound. Вне воспринимающего человеческого сознания. It is means uh, without considering the воспринимающего means uh, that uh, I don't know how to translate it. It is uh, kind of perceiving. Taking, receiving, receiving, I think that's more. Perceiving, I didn't use. Yes, perceiving, I think that it'll be good. Вне means out of. Out of rece perceiving human consciousness. But feeling of sound depends on organs of listening, ears also. Слухового нерва means the earring, earring nerve, or sound nerve, or hearing nerve that, has, uh, that we have maybe inside of our ears, and головного мозга, brain, и так далее. Головной means head, head brain, и так далее. То есть от определенным образом организованной материи. The, it means because of, от, от, it uh, means that depends on, it is, uh, зависит, зависит, 
от, зависит от, зависит от, органа слуха, зависит от, mm -hmm. depends on, specific, specific, I don't know, specific way, organized, materia. I don't know how to... Uh, what, what does it mean? You maybe can guess. I don't know what does it mean. I can guess right now. От определенным образом организованной материи. It means uh, feeling. Feeling depends on specific our mind. Mind. Mind materia. Materia. How to translate? I think that materia. Matter. Material, substance, fabric, stuff. I think that matter, yes. It will be good. But also substance. Okay. Ощущение. Есть превращение энергии внешнего раздражения в факт сознания. It's cognitive linguistics and cognitive processes. Ощущение. Ощущение. It is the feelings or sensations. It is. Есть превращение энергии внешнего раздражения в факт сознания. It is the... Превращение, метаморфоз, метаморфоз of energy, or maybe sublimation of energy, it is changing, превращение means changing form, энергия, метаморфоз of energy, of outsource things, in effect of consciousness, внешнего раздражения, внешнее раздражение means, it doesn't mean that Раздражать. Раздражать annoy in uh, your language. Annoying, like, annoying. Not really nice, yes? But here is внешнее раздражение means the source of information. Outsource. Like, source that we have out, outside of our consciousness. Внешний раздражитель... Let's translate it, by the way. External stimulus. Yes. It is uh, external stimulus. Внешний стимул какой-то. Какой-то внешний стимул. It means external. Внешний. Mm -hmm. And stimulus, раздражение. But раздражение also we use in a mini of annoying, okay? Общая цепь явлений такова. Колебания источника звука. Звуковые волны. Воздействие звуковых волн на органы слуха. Передача принятого слуховым нервом раздражения в головной мозг. Let's translate it. The main цепь, links, or maybe the main schema, the main schema, общая цепь. Let's translate it. The main, общая цепь. Common circuit. Chain, chain, chain. It will be better chain, chain, yes. The main chain of the phenomena is here. Такова, means is. And uh, two dots. Колебания источника звука. It means acceleration, vibrations of the source of the sound. String, vinyl and something. Next. Звуковые волны. It is the second part. Sound waves. Воздействие звуковых волн на органы слуха. Means the touching of the sound waves to our organs of the listening to ears, to the specific things inside of our ears, okay? And then, передача при, принятого слуховым нервом раздражения в головной мозг. The connection and передача, transmitting, transaction, like it is trans something, going, like from one to another. I give you this, yes. Передача means let's take it. I give you, you take it. And it is our connection. Передача принятого слуховым нервом раздражения в головной мозг. It means external source has this parcel and he... Oh, no, no, no. He, he takes it. He receives it. Передача принятого слуховым нервом. It means that our ears, our... Ear nerve, our hearing nerve, took it, принятого means taken, and then it is transmission, transmission of the taken by the hearing nerve, external stimulus, 
to the our brains. Again, let's translate it. Transmitting, transsourcing, transgoing. It is the transaction. Transaction of the taken by the hearing north external stimulus that gives <laughs> that uh, gives to the brains that trans 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 going раздражение it means the передача передача it means the i give you this okay let's translate it easily with my understanding of it it means that we have taken the some stimulus we have taken stimulus by our hearing nerve and then we have transmission to the our brains good understand i, have, I think that yes now you understand it fully в природе существует бесконечное множество звуков воспринимаемых слухом человека но не все эти звуки могут могут служить материалом для музыки. Mm -hmm. В природе существует бесконечное множество звуков. It means in a, in a nature we have a lot of infinity number uh, and infinity sets even. Множество means sets. Set in mathematics you have a set of something. В природе существует бесконечное множество звуков. In nature exists a lot of different internal number of sets of sounds that our ear can hear. Воспринимаемых слухом человека. Воспринимаемых means that we can think about it. Perceive. Perceived. Perceived, received, uh, taken, em embrace. Okay, embrace, yes. Embrace, yes. And uh, perceived by our ears, hearings. But not every sound can be a material for a music. Okay? You understand that we have a lot of sounds, but not everything will be for a music. But in the meaning of 1951, right now everything, I think so, in 2021. <laughs> Because, you know, the modern music and something. And creativity also. Okay, and also some sound production and uh, editing of the sound. Sometimes we can make it sound dish good. Okay, next. It is my only opinion, okay. <laughs> Let's go next. Musical musical sounds... What, ah, let's, let's read the narration. Музыкальные звуки, в отличие от шума, обладают особыми свойствами. Они отобраны и организованы в определенную систему в процессе развития музыкальной культуры, воспитания музыкального человека. Let's translate it. Musical sounds, в отличие от шума. В отличие от шума, it means that шум is a noise. В отличие means in opposite to the noise. Musical sounds in opposite to the, to the noises. Noises means... Not really nice uh, hearing sounds, some something abstract, okay? And uh, like bro brown movements. Обладают особыми свойствами. Musical sounds have specific features. Nice and amazing, by the way. Обладают особыми means specific. And uh, они отобраны и организованы в определенную систему. They are gathered and organized. Отобраны means that uh, it was... I, I took it and also this and this and this and it will be good, it will be nice. Like gathered with specific... Выборка. How to say it? Выборка. Let's just like it. Выборка. Sample. Selection. Yes, we are selected. Selected. Something we are selected and gathered. Okay? Gathered and selected and organized, realized, organized, I think so, collected, in a specific system, classified in a specific system, in a process of развития музыкальной культуры. Развития means the growing of the musical culture, and also during, в процессе воспитания музыкального человека. 
It means that during the time of the growing of the musical person. Воспитание means the process of teaching by parents. Parenting. Воспитание. Let's translate it. Воспитание. Education, breeding, upbringing, training, nurture, accomplishment. It means in, uh, in most cases, воспитание means that it is the the behavior that were created by the family mostly or maybe by teachers sometimes but it's more like inner things of us not like skills super skills it is kind of our behavior psychology таким образом one moment таким образом Музыкальным звуком можно назвать только такой звук, который является частью системы, сочетания звуков, выработанной в процессе многовекового развития музыкальной культуры. Многовекового. It means many centuries. Многов... Многовекового развития музыкальной культуры и служащей для выражения музыкальных мыслей, музыкальных образов. Let's translate it. Huge sentence. Таким образом, in result, because of, and uh, considering all that I said before, таким образом, in final, it means that conclusion, conclusionly, таким образом, let's translate it, in this way, so, thereby, in this way, yes, it is all about, accordingly to this information that we said before. Музыкальным звуком можно назвать только такой звук, Let's, let's translate it. Musical sound is... We can say that it is musical sound only if... Okay? Можно назвать только такой звук. Okay? Только такой. We can call this... Let's... It is uh, the passive voice. Звук является... Звук is... Oh, or no, 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 Jesus... Uh, Forget, forget it about passive voice. <laughs> Musical звук is the sound. It is almost the same. Можно назвать только такой звук. It means uh, <laughs> musical sound is <laughs> musical sound is the only this sound that has that that is the part of the system, который является частью системы. Is the part of the system. Сочетание means the connections, the... I don't know how to say it correct, let's, let's see it, сочетание. Combinations, combinations, conjunctions, conjunctions maybe. Conjunctions, combinations, yes, combinations, permutations, we also can say it. It is the specific system. Сочетание means gathered sounds of sounds, звуков. System of sounds that were created in a process of several centuries, many centuries, growing of musical culture. And this musical culture and this sound is sorry for expressing musical thoughts, musical forms. Okay, and uh, here's the last. Musical sound is the sound that is a part of the system of sounds that was created during a lot of time of many century growing of the musical culture and that serving for the expressing of musical thoughts and musical forms. Musical, музыкальные образы means uh, musical, musical forms. Musical мыслей, музыкальных мыслей means musical thoughts. Выражение, expressing. Служащий, serving. Culture, культура. Музыкальные культуры, музыкальные культуры. Много, многовеково, многовекового развития means uh, many century growing. So, we did it. We did it, guys. Introduction is good. От издательства means uh, from the publishment. Is, от издательства. Let's translate it. Издательство. 
It is uh, from the publisher. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, first chapter, first paragraph is ended. Good. We know right now what is the sound. And uh, we learned this information. Good. Do you like it? What would you like to learn more? Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe you have some your text that I, I can read. Then show me the link in the description. I mean that. Show show me in the comment in the comment section below your link. You can uh, show it, or maybe you can write what to read, and I will read it. There, if you will not write it, then I will continue to read it and translate it because I want to improve my own understanding of it. I'm not like a, I'm not considering myself fully. As a teacher of Russian language, yes, I can teach you, but uh, I'm my experience is not super big in it, as we maybe compare it with the higher levels of people, yes? <laughs> you understand it. But it is a good level, I have a good level of Russian language too. And uh, if you are interested, we can go for forward. And so why do I read it? Because I want to improve my understanding in uh, English. I want to translate it in some way. And also in Russian too. Because when we read the information, we make our knowledge more kind of stronger. We can make it stronger and nicer. So, thank you a lot for watching. Improve all daily. Go forward. And thank you a lot for reading with me. Let me know. I know that uh, Joel Vega is uh, learning Russian. Somebody may be learning too. Uh, if uh, nobody is learning <laughs> except of except of Joel Vega, then okay, we are working for Joel Vega and uh, other people maybe will be interested too. Fiona, hello, by the way. And uh, another viewers, hello. See you next time. Bye-bye.